Hey everyone, welcome to your 28th basic JavaScript video in which we're going to discuss about logical operators and interesting stuff with it, which is especially something I've found unique about JavaScript. Right, so let's get into it. So logical operators, as it sounds, is uh, something which is logical, which is or, and, and not, right? So without wasting any time, what we can do is take up an example, something like if, um, let's say my age is greater than 10 or I guess uh, we have covered math operators right so yeah that makes sense or my age is uh, uh, not really or and my age is less than 20 I can say console.log you are eligible for something right whatever it is and up here I can define my age as let's say 15 right hit save we get you're eligible for something which is pretty much correct because that's what uh, my age lies in right similarly on a similar basis what I can do is say if my age is uh, um, let's say I have let uh, my height is uh, six right I can say or it doesn't matter if this does not fit it fit in if my height is greater than 5.5 then also I'm eligible right now it does not matter if my age is even seven Right, I'm still eligible because my height is greater than six, is greater than 5.5, which is six. Right, right. So this is or and, or and and. Now not is basically used for Boolean values. So I can say, let's say, um, am I eligible? Is uh, false. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to say, am I eligible to true right and i'm going to say if not of am i am eligible that means i am not eligible then i'm going to say console log i am not eligible else console log i am eligible right so that's that hit save and you can see we get i am eligible because well, we said that I'm, am I eligible here to true, right? So that's the boring stuff. Now let's get into interesting stuff in JavaScript. And that is basically, whenever you write something like this, you expect this to be a Boolean, right? If you're coming from other languages, you would expect this result to be Boolean, right? But in JavaScript, what happens is that the operations um, the operations which are done by or and stuff like that return the value instead of a boolean and by that what i mean is let's say i create a variable here let my magic magic variable i'm gonna say that this has a value of either two or three right so what do you think would be the value of my magic variable here let's take a guess if you are doing this in a regular language it might be first of all a syntax error because these are not boolean values to compare first of all but even if it passes this appears to be uh, the result of this appears to be a boolean right it seems logical yeah two or three yeah it's true because this is a logical operator but upon saving we see that we get the answer as 2 and why is that now as i said in javascript if you're performing or operation the value which is returned would be the first truth value what do i mean by that let's say i do a null or 2 or 3 hit save we still get 2 why because null is not a truth value right Similarly, if I do 0 or 2 or 3, we get 2 because 0, again, is not a truth value. 
So if you are doing OR operations, the value which you would get in a case like this would be the first truth value, which is like a number, maybe a string, maybe an object, stuff like that. That's what is going to be returned. The case reverses if you are using AND. If you are using AND, then you're going to get the first false value, which is in this case 0, right? If I get rid of this, I get 3 because that's the last value. There's no false value, so it's going to return the last value, right? If I'm doing like undefined, hit save, we're going to get undefined, right? So you see that if you're using add, you're going to get the first false value. If you're using or, you're going to get first truth value, right? And with not, it's not really the case because not just converts true to false and false to true, but you can use not on regular values as well. So if you have my age as 10, and if I do like not of my age, you're going to see that it converts to false. Why is that? Because 10 is a truth value, right? And the opposite of truth value, the not of truth value is false. So you get false. So if you do a double not here, you get the actual value. So if, if you ever want to test if a value is a truth value or not, just put a double exclamation mark in front of it and you're going to get a Boolean result, an actual Boolean result, right? So if we take a look at undefined, you would see that it's a falsy value. That's why we get false on double exclamation. Null, null is also a falsy value. An empty object, an empty object is a truth value, right? An empty array, an empty array is also a truth value. So you can experiment do stuff like that. Zero, zero is a false value, right? So that was a basic tutorial on this, and uh, I'll see you then in the next one.